tutorial for Noco HQ, and today's tutorial um, I'm going to show you how to build um, a mobile app for your own online course, including video, using the No Code Mobile App Builder Adalo. So, um, what can this be used for? So, for example, let's say you want to sell an online course, um, and once a user purchases your course, you want to give them access to your uh, native or your mo your mobile app where they can then browse through the different um, lessons, the different courses, and watch the videos, read the description, and so on and so forth. So quite an interesting use case. So what you will need is just an Adelo account, and once you logged into Adelo, you want to click on Create a New App, and Adelo will bring you to this creation um, assistant, and it will ask you what kind of app you want to make. So we want to choose a native mobile app. Uh, we're going to choose a blank template, okay? And we're going to uh, call our app um, online course, okay? For the primary color and secondary color, you can choose whatever you like. I'm going to go with something, uh, let's do like slight purple maybe, okay? And the pri secondary color I'm going to leave as it is, okay? I'm going to click on create and we'll be brought into the Dalo app editor with the three default screen as always, um, sign up, login, and home, okay? Awesome. So, um, Let's jump right over to database and define our database collection. So currently we have users, that's default. We want to add another collection and this collection is going to be called um, course. So this represents each course within our app. So maybe you want to display multiple courses, okay. A course consists of a name. It consists of a, uh, let's say, description maybe, okay. It consists of an image, okay, so let's add the image here. Uh, let's also add maybe the, um, I don't know, the difficulty, okay. Okay, let's click save, great. And let's head over to uh, the next collection and let's call this the lesson. So, a lesson represents an individual lesson within each course. Okay, so, let's cl click on add and a lesson will just have a name and it will have a video. And for the video, Adalo doesn't support native video yet, but we're going to find a quite a nice way to um, still handle video. So we're going to add a new property of type text and we're going to call this video. Okay, let's click save. Next, what we have to do is create a relation between our course and our lesson. We're going to do that by adding a new property here, which is going to be a relationship. So a relationship between a course to a lesson and the relationship is going to be a lesson can only have one course, but a course can have multiple lessons. That's exactly the logic we want. So this is a course here, our C, and it has multiple lessons, but a lesson, of course, just belongs to one course. Let's click Done. We can change um, the name of this relation. So in this case, it's lessons in this course, and we automatically have the same relation created here, and we can call this uh, is in course. Okay, great. One last thing, let's add a new relation between our users and our course because I want the ability for users to favorite a course. Let's add another property. This is going to be a relation to a course and it's going to be um, a user can have multiple courses and a course can have multiple users. Okay, so multiple users can favorite the same course. Let's click done. Let's call this my favorite courses. Okay, and under course we can change it to... Um, users that favorited this course or something like this. Awesome, let's click save and uh, we should be good to go. So let's jump in right into the editor. I'm not going to focus too much on the design and the UI. That's something that you can of course do in more detail. I'm just going to focus on logic. So first of all, let's add a new component which is going to be our tab bar. Let's drag that to the bottom here. As you can see, we have these default five tabs. In our case, we'll only need three tabs. So I'm going to make the fifth and the fourth tab inactive. Okay. The first tab, uh, we're going to rename that to um, courses. Okay. Let's maybe use, um, I don't know, this here. The second tab is going to be, um, or actually, we don't, we're not even going to need a second tab. So let's remove the third tab. We just need two tabs, courses and the second tab is going to be called profile, okay? And for profile, I'm going to just use maybe um, user, no, mail, no, person, yep. Awesome, so that looks already quite nice, okay? And we're going to jump straight into our um, application. So I'm going to change the name of the app bar, not from, uh, not from home, basically, to um, courses, okay? 
And what we're going to do, we're going to add um, a list here on this page. So let's go to lists and let's add maybe a card list. Okay, so let's put that here. And Adalo asks us, what is this a list of? This is a list of courses. You could add a filter um, and you could add sorting, but we're not going to do that. Okay, and we can now define. Okay, so the title should be the course name, correct? For the subtitle, let's maybe use the, um, the course difficulty. Let's remove the body, we don't need that. And let's use the media, which is gonna be the current course image, that's correct already, okay? Awesome. Um, if there's no image, we could show a placeholder image, but I'm just gonna say don't show anything. Great, so let's create the course detail page. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click here on add action. So when one course is pressed, I wanna link to a new screen, which we're gonna create now. And this new screen is gonna be, uh, let's use the app bar template here, let's create screen. So we're gonna link to our screen here with a push transition. We're gonna send the current course over to the screen. And here we now have access to the course that was sent over. So for the title, we can use dynamic title. Um, actually, I have a better idea, let's use a template for the screen. So I'm just gonna quickly delete that. Okay, I'm gonna add a new screen here. And let's actually use um, an info template. Let's use the info here, the first one. I'm gonna call this course detail. Okay, let's create the screen. Same thing again. So I'm gonna go here and on, on click action, I'm gonna to link to our course detail page with a push transition and send over the current course. Now I can go here again and under title, I'm gonna change it from course detail to dynamic title, which is gonna be the current course name. We can jump right over into this image and we can say this should be the current course's image. We can then um, go over here and for example have the difficulty. So I'm gonna say difficulty equals the current course difficulty. Okay, great. Let's also have, I'm just gonna copy this text, put that underneath and let's make that a bit smaller and less bold. So regular and a bit smaller. This would just be the current course's description. Okay, quite simple. Um, and beneath this, we're now gonna add another list, which is gonna be a simple list. So we're gonna keep it quite simple. Okay, so a simple list. And this is gonna be a list of all lessons. However, not all lessons, it's gonna be the current courses lesson is in course. Okay, so all the lessons that are in this course will be displayed here. Okay, if we go back to our database, under lessons, we only have two fields, name and video. So we can go back here and we can define, okay, we don't need this left section, and we even don't need the uh, subtitle, we just need the title, okay? And this is just gonna be lesson name, so really simple, okay? For this button here, I'm gonna position in the center, I'm gonna rename this to add to favorites, okay? Um, however, let's make this a bit round maybe. We're gonna add a conditional here, we're gonna change the visibility, and we're gonna say this is sometimes visible. And this is only visible if the Logged in users, my favorite courses, all does not contain the current course. So again, if the logged in user, the current user, hasn't already added this to his this course to his favorites, then the button will be visible. Otherwise, it won't be visible. Okay, so quite simple again. Let's now go ahead and create our lesson page. So again, I'm gonna create a, a new screen. I'm gonna use this info template here again. We're gonna call this lesson. Let's click on create screen. And we're now gonna say, okay, when one of these lessons within a course is pressed, so add action, we wanna to link to our lesson screen. Again, with a push transition, or we could use, even use something like um, a modal if you wanna do that. Um, but I'm gonna use just push, okay? Um, great, let's take done. And now we can define it here again. So let's under lesson, let's change the title, not, let it not be lesson, let's change it to the current lesson's name, obviously, okay? And we're gonna remove all of this, and we just wanna have this video here, okay? Um, and we, we could have maybe the, the text beneath this, which is gonna say the course, so the course is gonna be whatever the current course's name is, okay? But that doesn't matter, to be honest. We're gonna focus on the video now. The, the video is, isn't gonna be an image, of course, we unfortunately don't have a video component yet, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a web web view. I'm gonna drag that here, okay? Make that a bit smaller, we don't need that much space, okay? And now we can define um, 
what video should be displayed. And we're gonna use YouTube for this now. So I'm just gonna head over to YouTube. And this is one of our uh, videos here for Nokia HQ. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here to share. I'm gonna press embed, okay? And I'm just gonna copy the embed code, okay? If I go back here now and just paste this, we have this whole code with the iframe. We don't need all of that. I'm just gonna remove all the text here before the URL begins and everything after the last quotation mark. So this is our embed URL. This represents a fully or a full page YouTube video. Of course, we don't want to embed the whole, the same video every time. We wanna embed the current lessons video. We're gonna do this by just removing this last parameter here. So basically that's the, the video ID. I'm gonna remove this, okay? And I'm gonna add a dynamic parameter, which is gonna be the current lessons video. And all you have to do now is upload your lessons to YouTube, make them unlisted, copy the video ID and add them in your database under video here in lessons. And that's all you have to do. It's as simple as that, okay? Great, the last uh, quick step we wanna do, I'm just gonna add another screen here, or actually let's go ahead and copy this whole home screen. That's the easiest way. I'm gonna copy this, drag that down here. We're gonna rename the screen to my profile, okay? And again, quite simple. Um, we're gonna have the title here say um, my profile. We just have to create a relation between these two pages. So we're gonna say, okay, when the second tab, which is profile is pressed, we wanna to link to my profile with no transition, that's important, okay? And here the same thing. If the first tab is pressed, we wanna to link to our home screen with no transition, okay? We have to make the second tab the active tab here. We're gonna do that by going to tab bar and setting the active tab to the second tab and we're done with our relation. So what I'm gonna do now, again, quite simple. I'm gonna add a text here at the top um, and this text is gonna say um, courses or my favorite courses, okay? And this should be a list of all the courses that you have added to your favorites, okay? So let's click on that and let's say, okay, this is again a list of courses, but this time it's not gonna be all courses, it's gonna be the locked in users, my favorite courses, okay? So quite simple. Again, it's gonna link to the course detail page on click. But I'm, what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna add a first icon here, Okay, and this icon should be maybe removed like this, great. So this is gonna remove your, um, or this course from your favorites. And we're gonna say, okay, on action, we wanna update the logged in user and we wanna change the my favorite courses list. We wanna remove the current course and that's all we have to do. So quite, quite simple, okay. Awesome, and to be honest, that's already it. Um, we've created a fully functioning um, online course mobile app, which you can share with your customers, and it's probably much better than any kind of online platform you can use. Uh, you, you have the ability here to create your own custom app, and of course, add even more functionality if you want to do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create two sample uh, data entries, so a de demo course and demo lesson, so we can just preview and take a look at our application. So under course, just gonna add a new course here, view edit records. I'm gonna add a course. I'm gonna call this introduction or intro to no code. The description is gonna be start building without code. It's gonna upload an image here. So I've just uploaded a copyright free image. So even though it doesn't make sense, but just bear with me. Uh, the difficulty, let's just say beginner. Okay, um, and the rest can stay empty. So let's click save now. Okay, um, and let's click done. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna add a lesson within this course. So let's view add records. Let's add a new lesson. This is gonna be, um, a less, let's call it lesson one, introduction. Okay, and the video, all you have to do now is head over to YouTube, copy the YouTube ID here or the video ID at the top. Okay, um, copy that. Paste it under video and define the course this is in. This is in the course intro to no code. Let's click save. And now we should be good to go with our first course and our first lesson. So let's click on preview. Okay, I'm gonna change to iPhone XS Max. Doesn't matter what you use, okay? So first of all, we're prompted with the sign up and or login page. We don't have an account yet. So let's just head over here and sign up. So I'm gonna enter an email. Okay, I'm gonna click on sign up will now be brought to the home page. 
as you can see, we have our first course here, which is Intro to no code. We have our image, we have our difficulty level, we have the title here, courses, we have the ability to log out. Under profile, we have nothing yet because we haven't favored any course. Let's head over to courses, let's click on our first course here. As you can see, we have the image again here, the difficulty, the description, which is start building without code, and the list of all lessons. Let's also uh, go ahead and add this to our favorites. As you can see, we should have made the button a bit wider, but that's something you can easily implement. So let's add it to our favorites. So as you can see, nothing happens. We actually forgot to make the link here. So let's just quickly go into it. And under Add to Favorites, I forgot to add the action. So on click, we want to update the logged in user and to the, his list of my favorite course, we want to add the current course. So as you can see, really, really simple. Let's make that a bit wider, actually. Let's, let's just quickly preview that again. So let's just quickly preview that again. I'm going to use the iPhone XS Max again. So now if we go to our uh, course here, I'm going to click Add to Favorites. The button is gone now, as you can see. And if we go to our profile, we have the, um, co uh, the course Intro to No Code, which is now under our favorite courses. And we can remove it again by clicking this icon. It's gone here now again. And now the button should be visible again. Okay, great. So now let's take a look at our lesson one here, Introduction. Awesome. As you can see, it works perfectly. We have this beautiful interface with where you can click on an individual lesson. We have the video on top here. We have the name of the course again, and of course the video, which you can open as, as usual, uh, as you know, YouTube. Um, and it works really nicely on phones. We have it perfectly embedded here. And um, you're good to go. We have the tile here on top. And if you have multiple lessons, of course, you can click through all the lessons, watch them, and so on. And so forth. So yeah, um, that's basically it. To be honest, everything works perfectly fine. Of course, you could go ahead and fine-tune the UI, add some more features, maybe a chat even if you want to do that, or other kinds of features, and um, share and sell your online course with your customers and friends and family. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you learned something, and I want to see you guys for next tutorial with NoCreateQ. Bye.